Okay, in this video we're going to look at adding and subtracting fractions. To add or subtract a fraction, you must have the same denominator. So what is the denominator? The denominator is the bottom number of the fraction. So this is the denominator here. So if you want to add or subtract them, you need to have them to be the same. So in this case, they're both a third or both three. Um, so we can add them. And so once you have the same denominator, you then simply just add the numbers on the top together. So if I have negative one plus two, that would give me positive one and you just keep your denominator. So once the denominator is the same, you just add or subtract the numerators, which is the top number. All right, so that's what we do. If we have a look at this next example, um, you might sometimes first need to make them the same denominator. So that means you've got to find the lowest common denominator. Now the lowest common denominator is a number that both of them can go into and it's the lowest one they can go into. So if you think here, we're going to think what's a number that both 5 and 4 could go into? So we could say maybe it's 20. So if you think about it, um, they both can go into 20. If you think 5 times 4 gives 20 and 4 times 5 gives 20. So this is the lowest number both of them go into. Now, if I'm going to change these denominators to be over 20, that means whatever I did to the bottom of the fraction, I've got to do to the top. So because I times that 5 by 4, I've got to times that top number by 4. So 4 times 4 would be 16. And if we look at the other one, I had to times it by 5 to get it to 20, this 4. So I'm going to times this th 3 by 5 as well, which would be 15. So that's finding equivalent fractions, they're called. But now they have the same denominator. I can simply work on just adding, or in this case, subtracting the numerators. So 16 minus 15 is 1, so it becomes 1 over 20. Okay, sometimes we might get mixed numbers and we need to change them to an improper fraction first. And then we have to find, so we'll do the, find the change to improper fractions and then we'll find a common denominator and then we'll either add or subtract. So let's go and work on this. If we look here, this one, these two are improper fractions and we, sorry, they're mixed numbers and we wanna make them an improper fraction. So to do that, first you go two times three because we've got two holes, which would be two times three is six and then you add the two that you've got on the top. So we've actually got eight thirds. Okay, when we do that for this one, we go two times three, which is actually six, and we add one, which is seven. So we've got seven halves. So now we've changed them both to a improper fraction. Um, now we'll find a common denominator. So what's a number that both of them go into? So we're looking for a common denominator for th a number that both 3 and 2 can go into and the lowest form. Sometimes it's easy just to multiply these bottom numbers together to find that number, but it might not necessarily be the lowest. But if we do that, it is in this case. So we're going to say um, 6. So... 6 is my lowest common denominator. So because I times this 3 by 2 to get to 6, means I've got to times this 8 by 2. So I end up with um, 16 on 6. And then with this 
2 over here, I had to times that one by 3 to get 6. So I've got to do that to the top. So 7 times 3 is 21. And now we've got the common denominator. We can add the two numbers. So we're going to now go and add these two numerators. So 16 plus 21 is 37 over 6. And there's our answer. When you leave your answer as an improper fraction, even though like that or as a fraction, that's an exact answer. And that's probably what we would prefer in maths, an exact answer. But if you did write this one as a mixed number, it would be 6 and 1 6 left over. This is 36. Sixes. All right, so let's go and do this next one. So we're going to change first the um, mixed number to an improper fraction. So we're going to go 5 times 4 and then add the 1. So we end up with 21 over 5. Um, then we do it to the next one. We're going to go 1 or 2 times 1 and plus that 1. So we end up with 3 over 2. Now we've got to get a common denominator, a number that both 5 and 2 go into. So I'm saying 10 goes into both, they both go into 10. Now I times this by 2 to get to 10. So I've got to times that one by 2. So that would be 42. And then I've times this 2 by 5 to get it to 10. So I've got times this top number by 5. So that would be 3 times 5 is 15. So then I do I do 42 minus 15. So if we do 42 minus 15, that would be 27 over 10. So there's our final answer.